Hello, my dear friend in Christ. How are you doing? This is Father Tony coming your way again. God bless you. Today, I want to ask a very critical question. Who is a true child of God? Are you one of them? Are you one of the children of God? A child is the one who looks up to the father, who looks up to his parent. A child is the one who is obedient, like Jesus Christ, as we found in Philippians chapter 2, verse 1 to 11, that his state was divine. He was a child of God. He was a son of God. He was God himself. Yet he did not cling to his equality with God, a thing he could easily have taken charge of, but gave himself up to die for you and for me. Why? Because his father has sent him and he went. But I want to ask you, do you know that you have been sent to send the love of God to people who are in hatred, people who are being denied of, of love? And I ask you, have you really sent that item to humanity? In your family, in your office, at school, do people see you carrying the love of God that you have been sent to deliver? When people are heartbroken, when people are injured, when people are hurt, are you a peace giver when you have been given the mantle to go and give healing to the brokenhearted? There are some people in this world, what they have seen is so bad that they doubt. They don't even know what will happen tomorrow so they don't have faith again. But you are a Christian. You have been sent to prove your faith. Are you shy of it or do you give it out just as you have been sent? This is what struck me when I was reading the gospel of Matthew chapter 21 verses 28 to 32. When Jesus told the chief priests and the scribes and the elders that there are two types of the children of God. Some willingly say, yes, I will go. And yet they refuse to go. Some may even pretend they will not go, but they change their minds and they go. I want to ask you, did you not say that you will love on the day that you were baptized, the day you took a vow with your spouse that you are going to live faithfully with him or her? The day you were baptized, you were the holiest angel on earth. You told God you would do it. But have you really done it? Have you gone on that errand? When that friend of yours hurt you, were you able to dispense that forgiveness that God asked you to go and give? When that friend of yours was in total darkness, did you know his way about, her way about? Were you able to help out or you pushed her into even much more darkness? When that colleague of yours was broken, was sad, where was the joy that you were asked to send? I may be guilty. I guess you are thinking about it. How many virtues are inside of you ready to be dispensed? Are you ready to give them out? Which of the children of God are you? Which of the sons are you? Which of the daughters are you? Remember even the greatest child of God, Jesus himself who was God, humbled himself and was sent and became flesh and suffered like us just to send us back to the Father. Yet you are too beautiful to smile. Yet you are too brilliant to come down to your village. Yet 
you are not going on that errand that you were sent. Which is your position now? You got some few coins in your pocket, yet the one sitting next to you is hungry. Are you the child that will go on an errand or the one that will pretend to be a Christian and not do it? I ask you this critical question. Perhaps you may not know the severity of it. If you like, go with me to Ezekiel chapter 18 verses 25 to 28. It tells you the severity of it. And it says, when the word of God was addressed to Ezekiel, it says, who rather is unjust? Is it God or you? If you can only change your position and now go on that errand, you will be saved. But woe betides that one who says, I am alive, I am baptized, I am a Christian, I am the holy man, I am the holy woman, I am the good dad, I am the good wife, I am the good husband. And yet, you may not be sending the items you were asked to send. As a child, where is the respect that you were sent to deliver? As a student, the day you went through matriculation, you vowed that you were going to be a good student and now you spend all your time on social media. Have you gone on that assignment, on that errand? When you first entered that room, that office, people saw you and saw a beautiful lady, a beautiful gentleman, a handsome one, I should say. They were ready to work with you, but now you have issues with everyone, and yet you have an excuse to give. Who can give an excuse to God? Is it he who is unjust or you? Read with me again to Ezekiel. Today, I put this challenge to you. Get up. Go on that errand and your Father will bless you. Get up again. I know the good Lord still keeps his energy inside of you because his word said that I will not send my ring to the earth and, and let it return until it's done the work with, for which it was sent to do. So that gift is inside of you. That love is inside of you. That smile is inside of you. That beauty is still inside of you. Go and give it out. This is what I came to tell you. And I'll give a nice quotation from St. Francis's prayer. And I end with it, my dear. Get up and go on that errand. And tell the good Lord, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Lord, make me your child. Make me go on that errand so that where I find hatred, help me to sow love. Where there is injury, grant me to get there. Pardon. Where there is doubt, Lord, help me to uplift my faith. Where there is despair, hope. When people are in darkness, Lord, help me to be that light. Where there is sadness by my appearance, by my presence, let there be joy. O Divine Master, grant that this person and myself may seek not to be consoled, but to learn to console. Not to justify ourselves and let people understand us, but be to understand people. Learn to love and not only claim love from others. For it is through this that we will receive from you, that will be pardoned by you, be born into eternal life. God bless you, and I know that you are now challenged to move ahead and to be the child who goes on that errand. God bless you and be the one that will praise God with his or her life.